to take a moment to address meal timing and spacing. I've been asked many times why I focus on this so much in boot camp. There are a few reasons, but one of the main ones is that when I really started spacing my meals correctly, that's when I really started getting results on THM. This was 10 years ago. So I remember that. And as I've gone through my 10 years of THM and over four years of coaching, I've just paid attention to that, that timing can really make a difference. As we started focusing on it in boot camp and just started making a point of watching everyone's timing really carefully, I noticed that we were getting greater results. Things tended to be going better with the people who were willing to follow the meal spacing guidelines that THM has set out. So that's why it's such a high priority in boot camp. I have the resources and cheat sheets for timing and and ideas to help you with timing for my boot campers once you're in boot camp of course it's also something i pay very close attention to when i'm checking food journals and if anyone has been in boot camp with me you've seen that i am a little bit of a stickler for it because it makes such a huge difference one common question that pops up frequently is how do i work fps in between meals and this is not I don't know that anything about THM is like so hard and fast. We're about food freedom, right? But we really do focus on the principles and strategies that work. And that's a coach's job is to show you what the critical things are and what the things are that you don't have to worry about so much. So in my opinion, timing is pretty critical. I definitely see a vast difference in results from people who focus on their timing versus people who don't. The book does a pretty good job of explaining why. And we get into that in boot camp as well. But something that comes up so often is how do I have FPs between meals? What's the best way to do it? My, I guess, in love, but maybe a little bit firmer response is typically that mostly you don't. I don't eat FPs between meals because for me and my body and most people that I work with, three hours is enough time to wait for the next meal or snack. FPs serve a purpose for sure. If you feel like, okay, I just realized I have to have dinner at six and it's been, it hasn't quite been three hours. I'm not going to get that timing in. That's when it's okay to have an FP. So here's an example. Let's say you have lunch at three and you find out the dinner's going to be at eight. Well, that's a five hour time block. That's not really what we talk about on THM as far as timing. So having an FP in the middle and splitting the difference, that's gonna be okay from time to time. I don't necessarily want to see a long block of time with a bunch of FPs scattered in between. That's not really the spirit of timing with the plan. So what do I, I encourage instead is to try your best to space your meals correctly. And if you find that you are absolutely ravenously hungry, you can't wait the three hours or you absolutely are not going to be able to have timing that works for the THM plan, then go ahead and have a light FP between meals to help you make it. But I will say I see a significant difference in people who regularly, consistently have FPs between meals and people who don't. Um, if you are, if it's been like an hour and a half past a meal and you're thinking, man, I cannot wake it, make it to three hours. I can't make it to three hours then having a light of pee in there is, you know, you have to eat. You should, no one should be feeling so hungry on THM that they can't make it. But if that's happening every day, I would question it a little bit. And I would say, let's bulk up other meals and give you more food. Let's get some more veggies in there, some non-starchy veggies to help fill you up. Let's make sure you're getting enough protein. There's a lot of things to look at if you are never satisfied after a THM meal. I am rarely hungry on THM except for when it's time for a new meal to start. And that's what I like to typically feel like. I don't want to be ravenously hungry between meals and I don't want to be grazing throughout the day. That's why those meal spacing times are so important. And I think one of the wonderful things about THM is that we can eat so many healthy, delicious foods there's no reason to feel deprived or hungry, but figuring out what those are and how to fit them in can be a little bit trickier. That's why we go into it so in depth in boot camp. But I hope that answers that question. If you do need an FP you, between meals, you can have one from time to time, but it's not necessarily what I'd recommend 
day in and day out between every meal.